Hey everyone, my name is Riley, and this video is a complete Udo CRM tutorial for beginners. I will show you everything that you need to know about this software, from signing up to your account and choosing which apps you want to use. And then we will go into the CRM step by step, showing you how you can create the CRM and add leads, how you can customize the pipeline to fit your business, how you can actually scrape and discover leads inside of Udo, and everything else that you need to know. So I am right here on Udo, and the first thing that I want to talk about is when you actually create your Udo account, we have so many apps that we can use here. So if I just go to Udo and go to sign up for my account, you can see it's going to ask me to choose all of these apps. <laughs> now, this is an incredible feature of Udo. The fact that you can do email marketing, SMS marketing, you can get your CRM, you can create an e-commerce store. You can do all of this in one area. And this is all included in the same pricing bracket, which is absolutely crazy. However, a mistake that I see a lot of people make with this software is they think, I have all of these apps, so I might as well use them. When a lot of them, they don't even need. So when starting out, and we can add all of these apps later, I will show you how to add these at a later date. It's not like you just choose them and then you lose all of the other ones. We can add these apps at any time. But what I would recommend is just start out with the CRM right here. And then if there's something else you see that you absolutely need, for example, if you know for a fact that you will need email marketing, then go ahead and add that. But adding in a lot is first of all, going to make things very, very confusing. And secondly, it's actually going to limit the trial. So you can see right here, if I just select the CRM, we have this free forever with unlimited users. Whereas if I go for email marketing and I stack two of these apps, then I only get a 15 day free trial. So I'm just going to select the CRM right here, and then I can go through and create my Udo account. And once you have signed up for the first time, we will be taken into Udo right here. So this is the main dashboard. As you can see, we have the CRM. We are also given contacts. So this is where we can manage our leads. We are given a calendar so that we can stay on top of all of our events. And then we are also given a discuss section, and this is almost like a messaging feature where we can chat with our team. Over here in apps, this is where we can go in and add any of these apps at a later date. So this is what I mean by just adding a lot of these is first of all confusing, like you have a lot of things going on. So only add things as you need them. But for now, let's go straight into the CRM. As soon as we load into the CRM, it's going to tell us to create an opportunity and add this into the pipeline. So before we go ahead and edit any of these sections, let's do that first. Let's add in an example lead. So we can create an opportunity right here and we can see that opportunity card is going to load it. So in here, we can fill out any information about potential leads or prospects or anything that we have on the pipeline. Now, when we start typing in a company, let's say we want to go for Google. If this is a, it doesn't have to be a huge company, but if it's a relatively big company, it's going to show up right here and it can auto fill the data. So Google is a huge company, but let's just type in like dogs. And you can see all of these smaller companies are going to show up. So if you are working with a company, then you can start typing the company in and see if it shows up. Or if not, we can create a new company. So let's call this company dogs for days. And this company doesn't show up. So let's click on create. And as you can see, that contact has now been created. So we can go in and we can now title this opportunity. So let's say that this is marketing services. We can then add an email for the main point of contact with that company. We can then enter in a phone number once again for the main point of contact. And then we can add in expected revenue. So I'm going to say that this is priced at $2,000 per month. So we can enter that in right there. And then we have a star section and this is where we can set the priority. So a one star priority, well, no star priority is low. One star is medium and then three stars is going to be very high. So let's just set this to two and then we can click on add. And as you can see, this opportunity is now going to be dropped into the pipeline. So this pipeline by default is set to new, qualified, proposition and what. But your pipeline might be slightly different in the way that you want to lay this out. If you want to change this, we just go up to the name of this column, click on this settings icon and then we can click on edit. In here, we can set the stage name and a few other settings. So let's just set this to new leads. This is going to be the first one in the pipeline. Then for the second one, I could go in and change this to maybe like demo call booked and save that right there. Then proposition. Well, I mean, this is basically the same thing, but we could just change this to like offer made just like that. And then we have one. So this is automatically going to be set is is one stage. And this means that we won the deal. So we now have these four categories. If you want to add any more stages, we can right here. I will just call this test and we can add this in. 
And as you can see, this test stage has now been added. We can also rearrange these stages by dragging and dropping these around. So I could drop this between offer made and one, and that's going to be added right there. If we want to delete this, then we just go to this settings icon and click on delete right here. Perfect. From here, we can then start dragging and dropping these leads around as they cycle through the pipeline. So if this person, let's say, booked a call, I drag this into demo call made, and that's going to be dropped into this area. In each column, it's going to show us the total value of all of the deals in this section. Now, what we can also do is because this is now a demo call booked, I want to schedule this in and let me and my team know on the CRM when this call is booked for. So we can go down to this clock icon, schedule an activity, and in here, we can now set this activity up. So this activity is going to be a demo call. Then we can go down to summary and say demo call for marketing services. We can then choose the due date and when this call is. So let's say that this is on Wednesday. And then we can click on schedule. Just like that, that's now going to be added in. So let's say we have the demo call. We then drag this through to offer made. And then if we close the deal, then we can go up here and drag this into one. So this is the pipeline section right here. We basically just go in, we add new leads right here. So we enter in the contact information and everything about this lead, drag this through and hopefully get this to be one. What I could also do is I could add a stage right here and say lost. And these are going to be all of the lost deals so that we can stay on top of that as well. So that is the pipeline right there. What we can also do is go up to generate leads and this is going to help us generate leads. Now, the reason I laugh when I say that is because like this software is a CRM. I would personally never use this in my business to actually generate leads, but you can, if you want, if you want to generate leads, use something like Apollo IO. It's absolutely fantastic. But in here, we can basically say how many companies we want to generate leads for. We can then select the industry. So let's say media, for example, and then we can generate these leads. And it's basically going to find those leads right here. Now, yes, it's found those leads, but realistically, as a small marketing agency, is BBC News going to going to hire me? Like, <laughs> I don't really see the point in this. You can also filter on size right here. So this is important and I'll show you why. Because if we don't and we just generate leads, it's going to generate those leads like this. Like The Economist, BBC News, as a small marketing agency, I'm never, I'm never going to land these clients, right? But we can delete those right there. If I want to go back in and generate some leads, Let's go for, once again, we will go for media, but this time we will filter on size and say between one and 10 employees, because likely they don't do marketing in-house. We can then generate leads, and this is a little bit better, but it, it's still not fantastic because we can't go super deep. With a platform like Apollo, and I'm not paid to say this at all, but it's, it's just so much better. We can filter by the amount of employees, we can filter by the industry, we can filter by the location, and it's just so much better at finding prospects. So use this as a CRM, you can find leads if you want to, but I wouldn't recommend it. Now, I'm just going to go in here and add in a few more leads so that it better shows you the rest of the software. So I now have a few more leads on my pipeline. And what we can also do in this area is look at these different views. So up here, we have Kanban. This is what I recommend for a CRM. But we can also go to list and see these like deals listed out. I don't really like this view. I don't really find a purpose for it, but you can do it. Then we can go for calendar and we can see any events that we have booked on. So if you remember, I booked a sales call on this date, which is why this is, this is showing up. And if I go back and let's say I wanted to book a call with Tesla, I can add that in right there. And if I go back to the calendar, this is going to show up. So anything that you book in or plan out is going to show up on your calendar and it's a fantastic way to stay organized. We then have a pivot sheet where we can see the expected revenue in each of the columns on this CRM. And honestly, this is a little bit confusing. As a beginner, I would stay away from the pivot sheet. I just wanted to show you this. We then have a graph so we can see how many deals are in each stage. Not super handy right now because the CRM is so small, but when you start stacking this up, this can be very, very helpful. We can also switch to a few more views and see these as graphs, like how many we have won, how many demo calls we have booked, all of that good stuff. Then we have maps. So this is if you are flying around and you have like calls booked in at certain areas, this is going to show you where they all are. From here, we can then go up to sales and go into my activities. And this is just going to show you all of the activities that we have coming up. We can see the opportunities. So these are sales calls that I have booked in. The email, expected revenue, the stage, all of that good stuff. And we might also want to turn on date here. I don't know why this isn't on by default. So we can turn on my deadline and then we can see when this opportunity actually is. So that's a lot better. And that is the activity section. 
Up here, we also have customers. So this is where you can go into the customer section and you can add customers in by themselves. So the other way that we did this, if we go back to the pipeline, is when we added in a lead right here, we add in the contact and organization, and this is automatically going to add them into this section under customers. The place where this is super helpful though, is if you have a lot of customers and a lot of contacts coming into the CRM, then you can just add them in here and then create the deals as you need to with them already being there. So that is the customer section. We then have reporting. So this is where you can get a forecast of your CRM. So right here, we can see all of these deals and we can map these out. So I could move this into July and this into September, basically when we have these deals set up for. And then we can see an overall forecast of when all of this is. So I can see I'm set to make 2K in July if everything comes in, 3.6K in August if everything comes in. And we can see an overall forecast of each of the months. We can then see the pipeline. So this is going to show us in the month what deal stage everything is in. So I can see in August, which is orange, I have something in offer made and I also have a demo call booked. Then in September, we have these two. So this is a customer in the new lead stage and this is in the offer made stage. And if you do want to play around with these views, you absolutely can. Just get used to these, play around and see which reporting fits you. Now, if we back out to the CRM dashboard right here, we will be taken over to this area. So once again, we can access the CRM and get back to this panel at any time. Alternatively, we can go straight into contacts and this will take us over to the contact page where we can edit contacts, we can click in, we can add new contacts. I've already showed you this. We then have the calendar view, which once again, we can get to at a click. And this is going to show us the calendar and everything that we have booked in on the calendar. And then we have Discuss. So we haven't spoken about this yet. Discuss is essentially a messaging app inside of Udo, where you can get in contact with your team on Udo. You can create group chats or channels. You can direct message people. But the first thing that we need to do is actually add team members. So the way that we do this is by going into settings. And then right here, we can see manage users. So we click on manage users and then click on new. And in here, this is where we can add users into Udo. So we simply just enter this person's email in, enter in their name right here, and then we can invite this person. And just like that, this email has been sent. So they will get a link in their email like this. They just click through and then they can join your team on Udo. Now, once they do, of course, they will have access to the CRM, everything that's going on inside. But most importantly, we can go to discuss and we can now start talking to this person. So in here, it's just a messaging area where we can set up direct messages. We can say like, hello, talk to this person. But what we can also do is set up channels. So we might click on plus and then create a new channel right here and call this sales. Just like that. Another sales channel is created. Then inside sales, we can go up and add in all of the team members that are specific to sales. So we could add all of the sales people into sales and then only people in sales will be able to see this channel. Then we could go to like, we could have general and invite the entire team in here. Then we could go for a new one and add marketing and we could add the marketing team into here. And the people you add into marketing won't be able to see sales. The people you add into sales won't be able to see marketing unless you add them to both. Then of course they will. So that is the discuss area. You can also call your team as well. So we can hit call and it's going to call the channel. So that would call the entire marketing channel and we can get on a group call. Or alternatively, we can go to like individual people jump on a call with them. We can talk to individual people as well. Then the final thing that I want to show you is just how we can add apps into this. So as I mentioned, just start with the CRM, but if you want to add more, then we can go to more and add anything into here. So let's say I want to add email marketing to this. I just click on install, confirm. And just like that, email marketing is now going to be installed. So we could go back to the app store right here. We could also add timesheets as well and lock that in. And then after a few seconds, it's just going to go through and install this. And that is going to be installed as well. Now, I'm not going to go through and talk about each of these individual apps and how to use them, because first of all, this video is on the CRM. And secondly, if I go through all of these apps, this video would be about 24 hours long. But essentially, that is how you can use the CRM. Go in there, use the CRM first, and then stack apps on top of this as you need to. So that is my Udo CRM tutorial. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.